very good morning to all i am professor shivale bharatchandra associate professor department of english mhg college marigao camp i am going to have a speech on the princess by manohar malgonkar friends manohar malgonkar is an indian writer a modern writer manohar malgonkar's princess which is published in 1963 and it is this creative writing with which he establishes he, his reputation as a novelist i mean to say that the princess establishes his reputation as a novelist in 1963 he was also an eminent critic and the eminent critics like g s amur da dayananda and anger have highly praised it it establishes manohar malgonkar's glowing maturity as a novelist the sex tyranny and deportism are revel with characteristic thoughts and candor in this novel in order to appreciate the skill that has gone into the making of this novel we have to be in mind these three themes producing a complex harmony therefore the best way to trust the development of these three themes is follow the narrative line this melodrama itself is unified by the archetypal framework of the story it's with great skill and originality that malgonkar individualizes the theme of the alliance that is these three themes of his novel are sex tyranny and deportism in an unobtrusive way he locates characters within a meaningful traditional context so after after the independence manohar malgonkar came to know as the great as one of the greatest novelist uh, in india the princess is the literary girl choice in the usa here malgonkar is concerned with the british indian army and the documentation of the army life in a historical context he selects the state of big ward an imaginary state with background people and enlightened ruler hiroji fort relating the princess ruling between 1938 and 1947 with their jewelry drinks concubines and utter disregard for the welfare of the people the opening chapter of the novel brings us to the exchange of ideas and thoughts between the maharaja and his 18 year old son abhay who is in the final year at college full of undigested knowledge the gap between two generations is reflected in the conversation between the father and the son the princess are protected and respected by the british government but this provided pleasure cannot continue forever realizing this fact abai puts a question to his father but how long can this go when india gets independence the british will have to live what happens to the princess then and the maharaja replied no abai the british will never leave this country we shall see that they do want do not it is up to us the ruling princess of india for our sakes remain here forever overstepping the mark abai says india is far more important than the heritage of her biggest princess the nizam or the wadia our state is nothing insignificant i mean to say here is that means our indian peoples and the followers of the princess they themselves were not willing 
to Britishers to live to live India. It means they want our people, our Indians, to be the slaves under the rule of British Empire, and they want to be the ruling authority in India. Okay, so the Princess by Manohar Malgonkar gives us a glimpse of the then Indian society and mentality of Indian people that they themselves were not willing to be free and they themselves do not want the Indians to be independent. They want, means such few people want Britishers to rule forever and forever and forever. Okay, with this I would like to conclude here. Thanks.